We've now warmed this up, so there's a certain temperature. For my HDPE, I know that uh, I've got a set temperature I need to meet, which is, in this case is 265 C Celsius, or uh, I think it's 570 Fahrenheit. So I've set my temperature reading here. So my, I've got my extruders heating up here, and over here I've got a preheater now. With the extruder, I'm blowing air onto the sheet at the same time that my material is going to come out of the tip. Now, this is a Teflon tip that I put on there. Normally, it comes with a block, which is a standard block tip. It looks like this. And you would machine it so that you control the flow of the material. This tip is a pre-machined tip. You can see it's a V-shape and it's got a little groove in it. And that's going to control, as the material flows out, it's going to control the flow of the material. I also have a round tip that I can put on there. Uh, so that, and this is where when we got into uh, doing narrow spaces like our bin there, this tip is a little big for that, but the flow on this is much bigger. So if I'm doing a lot of production, I'm going to want a higher flow rate. And the bigger the extruder, the higher the flow rate you get. So when you're looking at it, a lot of times you're paying for flow rate. So higher production, bigger extruders, more expensive, higher flow rate. So again, I've got my ATPE sheet, I've got my HDPE rod, and in this case I'm going to feed it into the barrel here. Now inside of this barrel is a screw. And this is what it looks like. And it's going to take and it's going to grind that plastic up and, and moltenize it and then extrude it out of the tip. So we're going to do a little demonstration here so that you can see the flow of the material. I'm going to get my rod started in here. I don't have to push it in, it'll self-feed. What you see coming out there is another material. I'm purging out the previous material with my new material. I'll get rid of that little uh, bead. 